Stock Pulse Newsroom, talking Golden Arrow Resources today. It's GRG on the Toronto Venture Exchange, G-A-R-W-F, the OTC markets in the States. So they've been in the news lately, a little drone, and purchased a little San Pietro iron oxide copper gold project there in Chile. So here to run through the details of that news, we've got VPX Brian McEwen. Brian, appreciate you taking the time here. A couple pieces of news here, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, start with that first one there. Uh, nice deal for the company there, working in Chile now. Sure, Rob. Yeah, that's 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 big news for us. Uh, this is a project we started looking at last fall, uh, and then it went to a, a, a bid process. And, and as we were going through the bid process, we weren't allowed, of course, to talk about it all. So we've been working through all of the due diligence, and uh, and we 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 finally managed to 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 get the deal. And once we had the deal done, we wanted to talk about it. We couldn't do that until they had the definitive agreement done. So you know, we we've been wanting to get news out. Uh, you know, it was a, a all cash deal. So we own hundred percent of the project. It's, it's, it's ours now. Um, it's 18,000 hectares of, uh, of, you know, of prime real estate in Copia Po. You know, we have the, the property, we got the hole in the donut. We've got, um, uh, capstone, um, capstone minerals, capstone mining, I think they're called, you know, they've got the project, uh, their San Pietro project on the just East of us. And then they've got the, uh, Manto Verde project just just west of us. Um, so they've got a billion tons of reserve of reserves, a billion tons. So we're we're right in the middle of a, a, a district size um, uh, area, um, and we have all that property. And we're in the process of picking up more. We've been looking for an advanced project for the last several years, uh, and this one came along. Um, it's got a lot of uh, a lot of drilling. They've had thirteen. I think 13,000 meters of drilling, maybe a little more than 30,000 meters of drilling. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, a lot of a lot of drilling on the on the, on the property in one area. They tried to develop a, a resource estimate. The thing is, Rob, is that at the time that they were doing this uh, assessment back in 20, 2008 to, to 20, 2012, 2013, it was just a copper only project. Um, and uh, so we went back in and, and we looked at a lot of the drilling and um then we found it's got very high cobalt numbers as well. And, uh, you know, the project right beside us, I mentioned um, uh, Santa Domingo Capstones project. I mean, that the yeah, economics that changed when it had the uh, um, when it added, added the cobalt to the circuit. So, you know, we're looking at this, you know, it's, um, advanced project. It's got uh, copper, it's got gold, it's got cobalt uh, and it's got iron. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting on the ground and, and and getting it going and moving it forward. You know, very similar to what we did with with Chinchillas in in 20, 2016 to twenty eighteen. You know, we we developed the project, we took it to pre feasibility, and then you know we we offed it to SSR. So we're we're really excited about it um, and something we we can build on. One last thing I'd like to mention about that is that um, the timing of that for us was just. It was it was perfect. We started looking at it in September. Um, you know, we had money in the in the in the bank to 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 cover it, but we still had a a good portion of our SSR mining shares. In that period of time, the, the SSR mining shares went up seven or eight dollars or whatever it was, and um, we still have the same amount of cash in the bank after paying cash for this project. So it uh, worked out to be a good thing for us. But yeah. anyways, we're we're excited and uh, can't wait to get on the ground. Yeah, let's uh, let's use the donut analogy there, Brian. Uh, it, you know, maybe this is uh, one of those uh, custard filled ones, right? The, 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 that's the, the, the creamy filling yeah, here. Like so I kind of done... thought about that afterwards. Maybe yeah, yeah, you, you, you've done this before here, and uh, boy, you just you just laid out a, a, how, how you acquired this. Uh, sounds pretty good to me. So yeah, let's talk about next steps here. How are you going to prove this thing up? What are you going to? Well, there's there's a, a lot of information. Um, Sumitomo had it, and, and Tech and Sumitomo had it before that, and, and there's this so much information that we've been been going through and you know we've gone back and looked at the the geophysics and like i said the initial drill holes and you know we see a lot of things that either were missed or could have been reinterpreted a different way given the, the economics of today uh and um so the, the first thing we need to do is get down you know re, all the real fundamental stuff you know relog the core and sample these things make sure that we we understand the property uh, and then we've got a, a you know a pretty aggressive uh, of program for the um, the surrounding area that which ha hasn't been looked at. Um, an interesting part of the whole thing is is we've got you know both sides of the the donut outside of the cluster here. We've got um, there's some other projects property in there that um, we've signed confidential um, confidential 
CAs on. Uh, you know, we're looking at the, you know, a bunch of other properties in the area that could, could you know, we, we could be the largest landholder in the area. And, um, you know, we're, we're feeling really good about that. So, you know, we're going to uh, evaluate what we have and uh, move forward. And, you know, maybe we'll be drilling by the end of the year. Um, I guess that, that's kind of our plan. Everybody wants to see, but we want to make sure we're drilling those holes in the right spot. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's move on here to uh, where you are drilling. Um, the socket Libanisa uh, silver uh, gold project there in Argentina. Uh, looks like uh, you've initiated a program. There. Let's, let's get into that. Yeah, it's it was one of those things. You know, we had no news for a bunch of months, and all of a sudden we had all the news in the same week. Um, we're very excited to get going on Libanisa. This is a a project that we we we, we acquired or we made a deal with uh, Mirasol back in um, early fall last year, sometime around then, and. Uh, you know, again, getting the deal in the definitive agreement. And we started on the ground there in the early part of uh, uh, December um, and uh, getting to know the property and all that kind of stuff. And a part of our deal is that uh, we need to drill 2,000 meters in the first year. So we're, we're excited to get on the ground and start that program. Um, it's going to be, you know, several weeks, months before we get uh, assays back. But, you know, looking at the core and the and the stuff that we have on the surface, there's, there's definitely something there. So we got... You know, we've got uh, some exciting news coming out of Libanisa and hopefully some news coming out of uh, San Pietro. And we still have our other projects that we're working on. Yeah, well, while we're here, let's uh, let's talk about those a little bit. We've got a, a project that, that we've been working on in, in, in Paraguay. Uh, and, and, you know, we've been drilling holes there. and We've been getting some spotty values. Uh, we've had all kinds of, uh, you know, it just seems like everybody took their turn getting COVID and then the drilling company got COVID. And we we just had a difficult time completing a 2000 meter program, took a lot longer than it should, facing a lot of logistic issues, heavy rains and all that. Um, but we, we, we've struggled through. We, we finished that program just last week. And now we're in the process of, you know, waiting for the assays on on those. So, you know, we're going to have, you know, um, data coming out in the coming months on on, on all that as well. So we're, 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 we're happy now. Well, we were happier before, but you know, we're going to be part of uh, some pretty good news flow coming out. Okay. Busy guy, busy company. It's Brian McKeown. He's the VPX, Golden Era Resources, GRG, Venture Exchange, GARW, OTC Markets in the States. Brian, hey, thanks for taking the time here. And we'll certainly look forward to checking back in when you ask more news report. Rob, my pleasure. Thank you. Anytime.